financial situation of small business owners is just inherently a little bit different than people who work an ordinary W-2 job. And because of that, small business owners need to have a unique retirement planning process and they need unique things to happen. In this video, I wanna share three tips with regard to retirement planning advice for small business owners. And the first is that you need to plan for contingencies. You may or may not have appropriate insurance coverage, but one thing you absolutely need to make sure you have in place is a long-term disability policy. If something happens to you where your mental horsepower is cut in half and you're unable to continue running your business, there needs to be some mechanism and income stream to make sure you're able to pay your future expenses. Because without that, you could be stuck being a greeter at Walmart or doing some other menial job that is not too compelling. The other portion of contingency planning is planning for your own exit. What happens to the business if you're either unwilling or unable to continue operating it yourself? If you have a partner, perhaps this is done through an operating agreement or a partnership agreement. It's often done through a buy-sell agreement with, uh, again, with partners in the business or maybe a, a, an external um, third party. There are a lot of ways to draw it up. But since small business owners have a substantial portion of their net worth in most cases tied up in the value of the business, it's super important to have some kind of contingency in place to harvest that for the benefit of your future self and your family if something ever happens to you. The second tip is run the numbers. Start thinking about how long you might want to do this for. How long do you want to continue running the business, growing it, achieving your vision of the future? How long do you want to do it for and what does life look like afterward? And when you have an idea of what that vision looks like, you need to run the numbers and get an idea of what it's going to cost to put all this in perspective. A lot of small business owners out there neglect their own retirement savings in order to reinvest all the money coming in back into the business to keep the shop open and to promote future growth. That can work sometimes, but it puts a lot of pressure on the value of the business upon your exit. You have to be able to sell it for something in order to fund your own retirement down the road. So you need to run your numbers and know what you need. And hopefully, and this is tip number three, utilize a qualified retirement plan within your business to build some diversification. It's a tenuous path, ex growing a business, expecting to sell it in the future, for money that you're going to use to pay all your future expenses in your 70s, 80s, 90s, however long you live for. That's a path that's fraught with pitfalls. Your business is never worth what you think it is. And ultimately, what you receive after the sale, after taxes, is it may not be enough to live on. So you need to know your numbers, tip number two. And number three, utilize a retirement plan where you can save a little bit of money and not rely so heavily on the future value of what you pull out of it. The benefit of using a qualified retirement plan is that you run the business. You can pull the strings. You can set one up however you want. The IRS and the Department of Labor offer a whole bunch of different options for tax-advantaged retirement contributions. The more basic plans are SEP IRAs or simple IRAs. 401k plans are super popular for good reason. They allow you to put a lot of money away tax-deferred and offer a nice benefit to the employees. There are a lot of other variations on that theme. Profit-sharing plans, cash balance plans, defined benefit pension plans, particularly if you don't have any employees. All great options, but it's really important to, to, to do some contingency planning, to know your numbers, and number three, utilize a qualified retirement plan for your own future benefit.